Hello students, in this video, I am going to show how to solve the problems that is for 14 marks. So in your exams, they are going to ask the problems like this and they have asked to calculate material cost variance, material usage variance as well as material price variance. Now we will see how to solve the problem. So we will see the problem first. A standard mix to produce one unit is as follows. To produce one unit, they gave information regarding three materials. During the month of April, 10 units were actually produced and consumed was as follows. So in the month of April, there were actually 10 units were produced and consumed. And for 10 units, they gave the required information. Actually, 10 units were produced, but the standard mix is of 1 unit. So, understood the information here. Standard mix is only for 1 unit, but in the month of April, the 10 units were actually produced. Now, we will see how to solve the problem. First, we have to find out what is the standard cost and what is the actual cost standard so while you are solving you can use table also so we required four rows and four columns material Standard quantity, standard price, standard cost. So material A, B, C. When it comes to standard quantity, standard quantity. So here 60 units at rupees 15 per unit. 60 units into what is actual units produced in the month of April that is 10 units. 60 into 10 is equal to 600 of material A. When it comes to standard price that is 15 per unit. 15 Standard cost 600 into 15. It will come to 9000 standard cost. Same way for material B. That is 80 into 10 is equal to 800. Standard price is 20 per unit. Therefore, 800 into 20 standard cost is 16,000. Next, it's the same way for material C. 100 units. 100 into 10 is equal to 1,000. The standard price is 25. 1000 into 25 standard cost is 25000 so you can write it as material standard quantity standard price and finally standard cost in the same way we are going to solve solve it for Actual cost. Same way, take four rows and four columns. Material. Actual quantity. 
actual price, actual cost. Material A, B, C. So here, so we need not to multiply with any units. Why? Because for 10 units, they were only mentioned the required information here. You can see here 640 units at rupees 17.5. Actual quantity is 640. The actual price is 17.5. 614 to 17.5. It will come to actual cost 11,200. For material B, 950 units. 950 at 18 per unit. 18, 950 into 18, 17,100. For material C, 870 units. Price is 27.5 27.5 Therefore, the actual cost will be 8870 into 27.5 23,925 So if you get this information, it will help to solve material cost variance, usage variance and price variance in a simple manner. Now we will start with our problem. Material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. So, for each one material, we are going to solve the problem. A, for material A, what is the actual, what is the standard cost for material A? That is 9000, 9000 minus the actual cost is 11200 is equal to 9000 minus 11200 that is minus 2200. So as it is a negative, this is adverse variance. Next for B, for material B, the standard cost is 16000. Write it 16000 minus the actual cost is. 17,100, 17,100, so the difference is again minus 16,000 minus 17,100, it is 1,100, so as it is a negative adverse variable. Next for material C, what is the standard cost? For material C, 25,000 minus actual cost of material C is 23,925. 23,925 is equal to 25,000 minus 23,925. That is 1,075. 1075. So, no negative sign here. This is favorable variance. Now, we have to make it as total MCV. It is total material cost variance is equal to 1075. Minus 1100 minus 2200. So is equal to you will get 
2025 that is adverse variance means 1075 minus 1100 minus 2200 this is minus 2000 225 that is adverse variable adverse variance understood this is how we are going to solve the problem of material cost variance next is material usage variance material usage variance is equal to standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity the same way we are going to solve for each one material material a is equal to what is the standard price of material a you can look at the table here standard price of material a is 15 into standard quantity the t standard quantity is 600 minus the actual quantity is 640 close the bracket next 15 into 600 minus 640 that is minus 40 is equal to 15 into minus 40 15 into minus 40 it will come to minus 600 this is adverse variance next for b for material b what is the standard price of material b standard price of material b is 20 into standard quantity of material b standard quantity that is 800 minus actual quantity actual quantity of material b 950 close the bracket is equal to 20 into 800 minus 950 it will come to minus 150 close the bracket 20 into minus 150 it will come to minus 3000 so as it is minus 3000 this is adverse variance the same way for material c what is the standard price for material C? 25 standard price. What is the standard quantity here? Standard quantity of material C that is 1000. Write it as 1000 minus what is actual quantity of material C? Actual quantity 870 870 close the bracket is equal to 25 into 1000 minus 870 it is 130 25 into 130 that is 3250 so this is positive means favorable variance now total material usage variance is equal to 3250 minus 3000 minus 600 so again there will be a 
adverse variance means 3250 minus 3000 minus 600 it will be minus 350 the total material usage variance is minus 350 which means it is adverse variance understood next the last one that is material price variance material price variance is equal to standard price minus actual price into actual quantity for material a what is the standard price of material a 15 Actual price is 17.5. 15 minus 17.5. Close the bracket. Into actual quantity. Into actual quantity. That is 650. 650 is equal to 15 minus 17.5 17 into 640. 15 minus 17.5 is minus 2.5 into 650 is equal to minus 1600 which means this is adverse variance as it is a negative next for material b what is the standard price and actual price for material b the standard price is 20 actual price is 18 standard price is 20 minus Actual price is 18 into what is the actual quantity of material B? Actual quantity of material B is 950 into 950 is equal to 20 minus 18 that is 2 into 950 is equal to 1900 this is positive favorable variance next for material C standard price and actual price standard price of material C is 25 actual price is 27.5 25 minus 27.5 into actual quantity of material C. Actual quantity of material C is 870. Write it as 870 is equal to 25 minus 27.5 it is minus 2.5 into 870 it will come up to minus 2175 which means this is adverse variance therefore total material price variance is equal to 1900 minus 1600 minus 2175 it will come up to minus 1875 so as it is a negative this is adverse variance 
so this is how you are going to solve the problem for material cost variance material usage variance and material price variance which they may ask in the exam for 14 marks